This is 8739 Toa Hordika Onua from Lego Bionicle. In this video we're going to take a look at this set's build and at the end I will give you the price you should pay for this set. As far as play features for this set go, let's start with articulation. You have three points of articulation in each leg. You have two points of articulation in the left arm. If you count the gear function, which we'll talk about in a second, you have three points in the right arm, as well as one point of articulation in the head to connect it to the rest of the body. So here are a couple poses of the set just to see how stable it is and kind of some of the stuff you can get away with. You also do have the gear mechanism in the right elbow which allows the right lower arm to rotate up and down so that's basically your elbow joint for that arm. You also do have um, the weapons here. The held swords are a bit bendy. You can kind of thwack things with that. We also do have the Rotuka spinner, which to operate that, you pull out the rip cord from the back and the spinner goes flying off. Um, then you just put the rip cord back in, put the spinner back on, and you are good to go. As far as value for this set is concerned, this set originally retailed in 2005 for $9 in the United States. If we take the number of pieces included in the set and evaluate them at $0.10 cents per part, which isn't ideal for Bionicle sets, but nonetheless, you get $4.80. Based on volume, I would say that $9 was a fair price for this set back in the day. So if you average those two things out, you'd get a price of $6.90. Time of recording this video, this set is valued at $33.32 new and $12.34 used. So you'd probably want to go use and see if you can get something on the lower end of that if you want to get this set for what I believe would be a fair price. One last note about this set and the Toa Hordika in general is that barring the specifics of this set such as mainly the weapons and the color and the mask which is about pretty much where it stops, all of the Toa Hordika sets are pretty similar. In fact I do have Toa Hordika Matau um, but I will not be reviewing any of the other Toa Hordika sets including Matau or if I come upon them just due to how similar they are to to this set. So barring the specifics of Onua here, this is basically my opinion for all of the Toa Hordika sets, including Matau, who I have, and the others who I have parts of but don't have fully. So that is going to conclude my review of Toa Hordika Onua. Thanks already so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.